Spending so much on burials is a total waste to me. This is coming from Yuli Doche. Um, he said, and I quote, I don't understand the concept of spending so much on burials. Total waste to me. A person's life should be celebrated when he or she is alive to join in the celebration, not in death. Someone once asked me for a loan of some millions to use and bury his father. I was speechless, end of quote. Okay, if I let's start with you. Yeah, I totally agree with Yuli on this one because um you, I think it's something that we do in this part of the world the most because um, a lot of people spend millions in, of naira on a dead person, and when that person was alive, they probably lived in a, in a shack and it wasn't anything to write home about. Now you didn't focus on getting them out of the slum. You didn't focus on making sure that their health was looked after. This even happened in my family. I can remember when my grandfather died. Um, my uncle, who has been out of the country for so long, never came home. But he died and he was there spending pounds. You get what I mean? Mm. Uh, yeah, you used to send money home, but don't you think that maybe your physical presence could have elongated his life a little bit longer? Because that would give him a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. And then, but you came home to spend a lot of money so you can actually come home. So you had to wait for him to die. Now, that's my family. I know a lot of other families that it is until when people die that they are celebrated. It, that shouldn't be the case. So, well, I think I totally agree with you on this one. Mm, yeah, so I, I understand where um, Peter was coming from and I agree with him. If Who's Peter? <laughs> Peter. <laughs> Is that his name? You let Oh, <laughs> I was thinking Peter Doche. <laughs> That's father. <laughs> yeah, okay. I understand where he's coming from because <clears throat> a lot of people, like if you had said, rightly mm -hmm. said, they don't bother about how people are living their life until they are dead and then you want to come and show off with mm. their... Um, burial ceremony and all. But if you've been there for somebody, I mean, like your parents, and you've taken care of them, and they lived a good life, if they die, come on, you have the right to celebrate them the way you want to. Mm. But if you if if you were there, if you were there for them and they died at the end of the day, you can celebrate. But if you're not there, you didn't take care of them, and they die, you're celebrating them. Who are you trying to mock? You're mocking yourself, to be honest. And that's I agree with everything he said. Mm, I think it's a it's a it's a mindset that has grown with a lot of us something there are so many things we have to consciously unlearn and this um is probably one of those things because it's even said that when you need money and you want money for various things it might be very difficult for you to get it but if it's burial you're in fact you see people that are ready to give, give you, you for free like to say just do this you're supporting your burial but how about support that person's business no mm. the person has a wonderful initiative no you're not interested but you're moved when someone is dead so um, I think that there, there are so many things we need to change and find a better balance. And like you said, if you have someone who have really lived and lived a good life, I, I don't think there's anything wrong in celebrating mm. them mm. if you have the means to. And I don't think you need to borrow to. Yeah, I was someone, when you like said, I was going to say, like, you don't have you to know, borrow so money, ignore pressures and everything. Bury the person the small way you can. And mm. then even if you want to celebrate that person, when you're comfortable, you can mm. do it. I, I mean, a lot of people do that. Mm. Maybe when somebody dies and they don't have enough money to give the person a befitting barrier at yeah. that point they can always move the date and you just I, I really don't understand why you want to borrow money mm. to but now well, like you said it's um a thing of um what's it called now preference because some people like you said now if they live the good life and your kids are good and they are they can afford it do you understand? And they've been there for you while you were alive. Then there's absolutely nothing wrong with mm. celebrating such a person's life. Spend millions, bury them in a gold casket, do whatever you want Go to do. Different. As long as you're <laughs> not that going out of your way. way. Yeah. You yeah. understand? But the moment you start overstepping or you're living beyond your means mm. just to make sure that you have a befitting burial, sometimes I think we should start considering cremation. Okay, but um, looking at spending and probably you know you want to do something. So, for example, a mother a mother died and she's probably it is something yes, and you know she's lived. She she was being taken care of while she was alive. Mm -hmm. I want to do something. Genuinely, sometimes burial can actually be expensive sometimes, and mm -hmm. genuinely, some people don't have that savings. We still have issues when it comes to our financial attitude in this part of the world. Mm -hmm. I know I was listening to a foreign platform where I, I know that there is a burial insurance in South Africa. So if you think that you want your burial to be in some certain type of way, or you don't want the burden of burying you at all to be on anyone, you can actually open an insurance account 
to save towards that. So now that is you taking care of that part of your life, right? But there are so many people that if anybody dies, it's going to be like a huge spending on them, mm -hmm. even to buy the good casket. So mm -hmm. they have to actually borrow to make it happen. So it's, it's, there is no one rule for all this, but it's just nice to be, to balance it up so that you are not going in debt for someone who is dead. Like, <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense. Mm. But sometimes it's just inevitable, like it's highly inevitable because so many people live from hand to mouth, meaning what they're making is what they spend and they're okay with. So bringing out of that, after taking away school fees, housing and all that to do the burial is a big deal. So they actually have to source for funds. So I understand it from all sides, actually. Yeah, I get yeah. what you're saying, but that's why, um, like if I said, live within your means. I mm. mean, if you don't do that big thing at that point, nobody will come and arrest you, to be mm. honest. Okay. But now, if you now go and borrow money and you don't pay back, then somebody can arrest you. So it's better you just live within your means. When you're comfortable, I really don't, like you said, nobody makes these rules. When you're comfortable, you can celebrate life anytime you want to. I mean, people do remembrance and all of that. So no I'm pressure. I'm one person that just... doesn't want to have a burial, though. I want cremation. Oh, tell your loved ones when it's fresh. <laughs> Thank you.